So, first of all, where did you find this nut? Have you ever heard no. of it No. No. And here's the funny thing. We didn't even look it up at all. I didn't want to. Literally, we opened the bags and we were like, all right, like, what do they smell like? What do they taste like? You know, what, what are they? So we stuck our nose in them and we said, wow, chocolate, right? We just started riffing on the smell of the ingredients and the seasonality. The, the cocktail we chose is a, is a plant of Tom and Jerry. This, this is heavy cream, or this okay. is milk. Adding heavy cream. Bliss maple syrup. And we're just gonna bring this up. This comes up to a boil. Pour it over the top. And you're gonna steep for 20 minutes. Do you ever go shopping in the Asian markets looking for all stuff? We do. But we haven't come across this stuff, which is interesting. I mean, we have, now we have virtually two people that are just devoting all of their time to R&D and we send them on missions and I think they think that it's like, oh, Chef's trying to be funny, it's a scavenger hunt, but really it's about, you know, trying to wrap our heads around what possibilities are out there. And now we have our Kluwak milk. So one thing that makes a Tom and Jerry a Tom and Jerry is egg. Classically, you take your egg whites and your egg yolks, you separate them, you whip your egg whites to stiff peak, you whip your egg yolks separately, you fold them together, you add your alcohol, and that's called your batter. So instead of going through the labor of having to whip egg whites and whip yolks, we are going to do it in an ISI can. It's tight. Just give it a shake to break up the yolks and break up the whites and incorporate the sugar and salt. So you'll see, I'll test it in this, right here in this lid. There we go. On top of this, we're going to add another element that we, we paired, we thought paired well with, with the nut is uh, banana. So we have a roasted banana, just a normal banana, put it in the oven, 350 for about 20 minutes. We're gonna add uh, whole milk, salt. We like salt. We like salt in our cocktails. Sugar. <laughs> well, when we're talking about an egg-based cocktail, to me it just makes sense, because when you make scrambled eggs at home, you season your eggs with salt. Why not season your eggs when you're making a cocktail? I, said, I know they probably weren't expecting a cocktail, which is exactly why we did it. We talked about coconut milk. Like we were gonna put coconut, banana, um, we talked about other tropical fruits or, or things in that genre. We even talked about doing black garlic in some way. But ultimately, we wanted to do something different than the typical stew. When you steep it in a fat-based liquid, whether it be coconut or milk or cream, it really gets nice, you know? Whereas if you, you don't wanna sit there and eat them, like, they're not going to be that appealing. So we have three different kinds of brown spirits. I've got one rum and I've got two whiskeys. We have our preheated coffee mugs. Our egg mixture. We're going to pour it, which is our Kluwak milk. We're going to add our alcohol. So we're going to put one ounce of our base in. The, ferment, the, the fermentation of it makes it a little bit, you know, it's a little bit different. Right, it's definitely a little funk to it. It's a little funky, you know, but it's definitely, uh, it's very festive, it's very warming. Like if you're outside shoveling snow, I could probably have one of these and be happy. The flavor is very powerful, very intense. If you use them on their own, they're just gonna overpower everything. So to make a really good dish with them, you're gonna have to have a, a finesse hands.